So we got to evaluate the whole situation before we just um, up and retaliate. But I, I think it's very unfortunate. I think it changes the way we think and live day-to-day -day basis. I think we've been a very privileged society and uh, up until this point and uh, right now we kind of got to reevaluate the way we walk. You know, I want to ask you, how is being a person, this is Brother Drew from Public Enemy, you're with the TV generation, how do you feel that this is going to affect hip-hop? Because a lot of us travel all over the world all the time. How do you think that this is going to affect us and our hip-hop culture? I mean, uh, hopefully it'll, it'll affect some of the, the content and songs, you know, first and foremost. I hope people start to reflect on life a little more seriously than ass shaking and booty bumping when they write their music. Um, I think when traveling overseas, is, that's where we make a lot of money, I think, you know, now we're going to be skeptical about where we go. I mean, being people of color, we, you know, we might get a pass here and there as long as we don't open our mouths and people understand, uh, people realize that we're Americans, but I, I hopefully, I think that the cash flow, the revenue, is going to be affected in a big way. I hope the lyrical content is affected in a big way, you know, and um, we start u doing what Public Enemy did, you know, start using, um, that medium to educate people and prepare people. That's what I hope will happen. You know, I talked to Jay-Z the day of the event, the day of the um, bombing, which was the same day as of his album release, and I asked him, you know, how, did it, how does that affect you? And he said, man, it doesn't even matter now. Who cares about an album release, you know? So it'll, it'll turn boys to men.